On this episode, we keep plugging away at the new revised front axle for the Rat Rod Radio Flyer. All right, guys, so it is Sunday, March 4th, and uh, today we're going to try to finish off the rest of the spot welds here on top of the TIG welder. And um, I'm actually recording this before the last episode you guys hopefully watched goes up. Um, that's in a matter of hours is when that goes live. Um, so I hope it wasn't confusing in the last episode when I, we talked, spent some time talking about the tires. The reason I brought that into the picture was so when I get this done, obviously I'm going to want to set up my new spindles and I can't do that until I have the wheel situation figured out. So um, again, I'm still on the search for ones that's just, just like this, but I figured worst case scenario is I still have the old hub and um, I, I think I'm just going to go ahead and try to TIG weld this thing back into place because it's, you know, kind of that principle of, well, I can't make it more broke. So just as well try it, and um, so it'll be interesting to see how that goes, but uh, that that hopefully shows up in this episode. Anyway, I had a cut yesterday short. Uh, we had an outing to go to, my wife and I, so I had to wrap up in the early evening. Otherwise, I would have preferred to get this all done in one day, but let's get back to work. Let's get these last six holes filled, and then let's see if we can't clean this up and make it look right. Uh, so we can get to the important part of it and get some spindles and knuckles on and all that good stuff. All right, so we got the uh, we got the axle done, and uh, I started to grind it with uh, my my cutoff wheel, and I decided you know what that's not the right tool for the right, for this job, so I'm gonna wait this week to to finish polishing this up um, with a uh, buy a flat disc. I don't own one at the moment, um, so we'll do that. And, uh, but I think we're at a point now where, um, I'm going to start taking off the old front end. So it's a little bittersweet because it's sad because it feels like taking a step back, you know, because I've already had it done, but, uh, it's the right thing to do. So, uh, we're going to get to a little bit of demolition here. All right, so there we go. There's the the big divorce, if you will. And um, you might think be thinking, hey, he cut his frame short. Is that going to be an issue? I think not. I think the shorter wheelbase is going to be a good thing. Um, I think that's going to help with turning. Um, another thing was, I'm not sure it was 100% straight uh, as it was in the old form. And I also, what I don't know is with the new axle is the way it ends up. So if I center, center the one, you can see how the tubes uh, sort of are interacting with, uh, with the holes, so we can't have that. Um, I'm almost thinking that I'm gonna build a like kind of radius arm kind of things that clamp on here and then go back to the frame. So I'm almost thinking like a radius arm that would come come off, kick out here, and then clamp around the axle. And it might float, you know, out in front of uh, out in front of the frame. But again, that's why I need to get wheels and tires. Get this figured up so I can again set the ride height and uh, reset this front axle. But uh, I kind of want to show you guys a side-by-side -side of the new one versus the old. Alright, so here's the side-by-side -side of the old versus the new axle. And um, I think even from this distance you can tell just which one's cleaner, but we'll take a look quickly about where it came from. And, um, you know, again, it was an I-beam style, I-beam shape, but the welding was just not pretty I mean to be to be blunt you can just I mean if you if you look at that <laughs> you know it, it worked it did its thing but um, it just it just doesn't look good and then so the steering knuckle 
was part of my problems. You can see how bad the wheels wear in like that. Because I just had 10 degrees camber. Now, the way it should be is I should have 10 degrees camber like I do on the new axle. But the kingpin is supposed to uh, sort of like re-offset that 10 degrees. So I can kind of explain here in a second. All right, so your spindle is supposed to follow that 10 degrees, like so. But then, what the axle, the actual spindle or axle part of it is supposed to be perpendicular to the ground. So you're supposed to go back, and or this should be. I said perpendicular, parallel to the ground. The, th the thought is, is that, so as it turns like this, it'll kick the wheel up on the outside, or if it goes this way, it'll kick the wheel down on the inside turn. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna help you lift off, since we basically have a posi track in the back, both wheels spinning at the same time. When you throw this inside wheel down, as it throws this wheel down into the ground, it's supposed to help pick up the tire behind you. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. So that you can make, so that it allows then that outside tire to spin faster like a differential. So, anyway, I caught over in this version, I was only sort of halfway there. Um, so, again, that's why I need to find wheels and tires. The beauty is, like, now that I've got this done and I have my welding table, is I can now, you know, tack this into place on my welding table and I can set up a jig to, uh, to get all that stuff to work the way I want it to. Um, so anyway, we just got to take it one step at a time and, um, I don't know, we'll, we'll see what happens the rest of this week. I don't know. Maybe I'll find the new tires, or maybe I'll get the, the one TIG welded, but uh, I guess that's, you, you'll know by, uh, by a week from today, so uh, yeah. Guys, it's Sunday, March 11th, and I'm gonna get you caught up where we are in the Rat Rod Radio Flyer. Now, I was out this weekend, um, tax appointment weekend, we were out of town, but uh, I think uh, I think I already have, didn't get any farther than what we showed you in the last clip, but, and I apologize, I'm going really quick right now because I'm down to my last battery on the camera, it's blinking at me. So, here's what we have, here's what showed up last week. We have a five-piece metal deburring set. Um, I won't go through all of the pieces again because I'm running low on battery, but uh, this is the important one. The little ball circular one. 
And the trick there is I'm gonna chuck it up in the drill press and then we're gonna hit each of these spot welds and try to make it look like uh, this one by my pinky. Uh, I chucked up one of my Dremel sanding bits that's similar to that, but these guys are titan titanium carbide something, something nice and strong. Tungsten, tungsten carbide, there we go. Um, so we will hit the axle with that and then I've got one last little unboxing to do right here. Alright, so in here we have da 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 bought an angle finder. This is gonna help me set up the spindles on the new axle and we've got more parts coming in this week. Um, it's gonna be gonna I hope make huge jumps from this video to the next one, but that's gonna do it for this episode. Sorry it's a little late. It's past 8.30 on Sunday by the time you're seeing this. I didn't get it uploaded at my normal time. But until next time, peace out.